Uh, let me get your name and how to spell it. My name is Jackie Wright, and it's J-A-C-K-I-E-W-R-I-G-H-T. All right. Uh, you guys are out here today doing what? We're out here to show the stark difference between the 1% and 99% of Americans. We're here to declare that there needs to be some kind of a humanitarian solution to the foreclosure problem. We're here in front of the, the this house that is luxurious uh, and showing that there are our neighbors who are standing in front of this house that are on the verge of losing their homes or who have lost their homes and that America needs to do something about this. Our neighbors need to rally together, the banks need to uh, take a humanitarian uh, course in the action of this uh, to stop the foreclosures, and our lawmakers need to take stands so that our neighbors are not losing their homes and that our economy is not spiraling down even more so. All right. Uh, again, I ask Ross over there, first time you've done this in that one? Is that, was that correct? Or? For me personally, this is the first time that I have personally stood here. I have stood in other uh, in other homes that uh, were uh, being foreclosed on to try to help people stay in their homes because it's much harder to help people once they've been pushed out. When you look at the fact that there is not affordable housing, uh, their renters uh, hardly can make it now, and then plus the new uh, group of people that's coming out as a result of uh, losing their homes trying to find something, someplace to live, it's very difficult. And it's kind of a financial quagmire that we need to just hope the uh, the foreclosure so that we can do something to resolve the problem, keep people in their homes, rework the loans, modify those loans, and look at other ways that we can work together through private and public partnerships as one solution to be able to save people from losing their homes. All right, let me ask you this. Are you working with the owner of this home, or are you guys independent of, of this owner? We're not working with anyone other than people that are going to stand together and make a difference to save people's homes. We're basically here to make uh, a point. This is a mirror. This is an opportunity for uh, Americans to look at themselves, so where you have a lottery, so to speak, where that a carrot is dangled, dangled in front of people to, uh, for it to appear like there's a possibility that they can have a dream home, when in reality, if they do win uh, the ticket, uh, they win. They, they can't even afford the, the taxes. So it's an illusion. It's a distraction that keeps people from the real truth. And the real truth is that we need to work together to make sure that people stay in their homes and that there is a humanitarian solution to this problem that is going to take this country down if we don't act now. All right. Good enough. Thank you.